1606, a brave group of people sailed to a strange new land. Colonists built by English settlers were governed by the English. The colonists could make or grow many things. Farmers grew crops such as corn, tomatoes, and tobacco. Colonists did not want to pay British taxes. Paul Revere asked his friend if he could put one lantern if the British were coming by land and two if by sea. Paul's friend put two lanterns so Paul could tell all of the people that the British were coming by sea. The people of America fought for their country's right to be free in the American Revolution. After they won the American Revolution, the 13 colonies were now an independent nation, the United States of America. Con Continental Congress decided it was time to declare their independence in writing. The people of America decided it was time to not have taxes. In 1606, a strange group of people sailed to a new strange land. Two colonies built by the English settlers were governed by the English. The colonies could make or grow many things they needed. Farmers grow crops such as corn, as corn, tomatoes, and tobacco. The colonies didn't want to pay taxes. Paul Revere asked his friend if he could put two lanterns if by sea and one if by land. Paul Revere's friend put two lanterns so Paul could go tell the people that the British were coming by sea. The people of America fought for our country's rights to be free in the American Revolution. After they won the American Revolution, the 13 colony, colonies were now an independent nation, the United States of America. Continental Congress decided it was time to declare their independence in writing. The people of America decided it was time to not have taxes. The colonists had to pay taxes such as tea, paper, and sugar. They were not happy so they tried to do peaceful actions such as writing newsletters that told them they did not like that they were being ruled. The British soldiers were on their way to fight. Paul went to each house and warned the people that the British were coming and they fought in the war and won. America struggled for more than 10 years to form a new government after declaring their independence from Great Britain. They wrote the Declaration of Independence. They had a compromise and the 11 states became law. The Americans didn't like being controlled by English settlers. A group of men dressed as Native Americans secretly went on British ships at night and dumped 342 chests of tea into the Boston Harbor. Paul Revere had taken part in the Boston Tea Party and belonged to a secret group that wanted to be free from Great Britain. 
Paul rode his horse through two towns, warning all people about the British coming for war. The people of America fought for our country's rights to be free in the American Revolution. In 1787, representatives from each of the 13 states met and wrote a constitution. In the winter, many sailors had a long food supply and many sailors got sick. Sailors learned how to grow crops, hunt, and, to, so, and fish. So Jamestown grew stronger every day. British were attacking, so a man named Paul Revere had to warn the people. Pa helped everyone get up and arm. People came to write the Constitution. The Constitution was written to make sure that the power is shared. Colonists had to pay taxes on stuff like sugar, tea, and paper. These were things used every day. The colonists were unhappy, so they first did peaceful actions, then they did, then they snuck at, out at night and dumped gallons of tea in the sea. The British soldiers were on their way to fight. Paul Revere went to each house and warned people that the British were coming, so they had war, and the American colonists helped, so they won. America struggled for more than 10 years to form a new government after declaring their independence from Great Britain. They, they wrote the Declaration of Independence and they had a compromise and 11 states became law. In 1606, a brave group of people sailed from Britain to America to settle it. The colonists were unhappy the way Britain controlled them, so they did the Boston Tea Party. Paul Revere was also part of the Boston Tea Party. Paul Revere warned the people the British were coming by sea. They went to war and finally won, so they have their own laws. They made a new government when the Constitution was approved. The American colonists didn't like English laws and taxes. The American colonists took peaceful actions before they did the Boston Tea Party. Paul Revere's friend lit two lanterns in the belfry arch of the Old North Church as a warning light to tell Paul how the British were coming. Paul Revere warned the Patriots that the British were coming. The USA is now an independent nation because we won the Revolutionary War. In 1787, James Madison wrote the Constitution as a plan of government with rules that our future, that our future leaders have to follow. The people that lived in Boston did not have independence. The Americans made a Boston Tea Party, but that only made the British more mad. Not very many people liked British rules. Paul took a midnight ride to warn the people the British were coming. The people of America fought for our rights in the American Revolution. 
The 13 colonies are now an independent nation. The colonists didn't like being controlled by the British. A group of men dressed as Native Americans and secretly went onto British, British ships at night and dug 342 chests of tea in the Boston Harbor. Paul Revere had taken part in the Boston Tea Party and belonged to a group that wanted to be free from Great Britain. Paul rode his horse to two towns warning everyone that the British were coming. The people of America fought for our country's right to be free of the American Revolution. In 1787, representatives from each of the 13 states met in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to write a constitution. The Americans didn't like being controlled by the British. A group of men dressed as Native Americans and secretly went into British ships at night, dumped 342 chests of tea in Boston Harbor. Paul Revere had taken part in the Boston Tea Party. He had belonged to a secret group that wanted to be free from Great Britain. Paul rode his horse through two towns warning the people that the British were coming. The people of America fought for our country's right to be free in the American Revolution. In 1787, representatives from each of the 13 states met in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. They came to write a constitution. The colonists left England because the king was making unfair rules. The colonists went to America. They built a town. It was called Jamestown. Jamestown grew. Now the king was plain unfair. The colonists were now were now really mad. They took they took two peaceful actions. A brave hero named Paul Revere was part of the colonists, and he knew that, the, that Britain would attack at night. So he told his friend to go to the North Church and see if they were attacking by land or by sea. If by land, light one lantern. If by sea, light two lanterns. Revere rode past Medford and Lexington, warning everyone that the British were coming. When the British came, America, American men, men attacked and scared the British away. The war lasted for six years. Once the war was over, the British surrendered. The colonists won their civil rights. Representatives from each state met in Pennsylvania. After talking, they decided to write a constitution. The constitution is still law today. The King of England sent colonists to America to find gold and other resources. Once they got there, they made a colony named Jamestown. They did not like being controlled by the British. They had a war in 1775, soon after the Great Britain started sending soldiers. On April 18, 1775, British soldiers started marching to Boston and Concord. They wanted to arrest the leaders, so Paul rode his horse to warn the others. So when the British surrendered, we won the war. Now power is shared in our government. This means that all our branches of the of the government is equal, not too much or 
or not too little. The English um, settlers did not like being controlled by the British. We took actions and made the British mad. Paul Re Re Revere warned Samuel Adams and someone else the British were coming. Paul Revere's warnings helped us win the war. We f formed a new government. Our new government wrote and signed the Declaration of Independence. The people came to America and made a colony. They had the Boston, they had the Boston Tea Party because they didn't like the British taxes. Paul warned the people that the British were coming so they could get armed and ready. America started a war called the Revolutionary War. We won the war and representatives met to write the Constitution. James Madison wrote the Constitution. The colonists didn't like the rules of England. The colonists took peaceful actions because they didn't want to fight. Paul's friend put two lanterns in the old church as a signal to tell Paul Revere how the British were coming. Paul Revere warned the patriots that the British were coming. America is now an independent nation because we won the Revolutionary War. James Madison wrote the Constitution because it proved that they had freedom from Great Britain. The, the people that lived in Britain didn't have independence. The Americans made a Boston Tea Party, but that only made the British more mad. Not very many people liked British rules. In fact, no one did. Paul took a midnight ride to warn people that the British were coming. The people of America fought for our rights. The 13 colonies are now an independent nation. The colonists left England because the king was making unfair rules, but the colonists went to America. Once they got to America, they built a town. It was called Jamestown. Soon Jamestown grew. Now the king was plain unfair. The colonists were now really mad. They took two peaceful actions. The British did not, back, did not back down though. A brave hero named Paul Revere was part of the colonists and he knew that Britain would attack at night so he told his friend to go to the North Church and see if they were attacking by land or sea. If by land, light one lantern. If by sea, light two lanterns. Then Revere got a boat and rowed to the other shore and waited for the signal. Then he saw two lanterns, so he rowed to his town and warned everybody, including the towns that he rowed past, that, he, that the British were coming. Then when the British came, they scared them away. The war lasted for six years. Once the war was over, the British surrendered. The colonists won the war. Then, after the war, the colonists wanted a government that would protect their rights. Representatives from each 13 states met in Pennsylvania 
They came to make a constitution. After talking about their ideas, they came to an agreement. They wrote the constitu they wrote the constitution to make sure that the power is shared. The U.S. Constitution is still in law today. In winter, many settlers got sick and they had low food supply. Settlers learned how to hunt, fish, and grow crops so Jamestown became stronger. The British were attacking, so a man named Paul Revere had to warn the people. Paul helped everyone get up and armed. People came to write the Constitution. The Constitution was written to make sure the power, the power is shared. In 1606, a brave group of people came to America. The colonists weren't happy with England controlling them. Paul Revere was part of the Boston Tea Party. Paul Revere warned the people that the British were coming. We won the American Revolution, so we have our own laws. We made a new government when the Constitution was approved. The British King sent over colonists to America to find gold and other resources. Colonists did not like paying British taxes, so they took actions. So on April 18, 1775, the British soldiers started marching from Boston to Concord. They wanted to arrest their leader, so Paul rode his horse to warn the others. So they had a war or American Revolution in 1775. Soon after, Great Britain started sending more soldiers to Boston. So when the British finally surrendered, we won the war. Now power is shared in our, in our government, which, which means now all branches of government are equal, not too much or not too little. The people didn't like the British taxes. They had the Boston Tea Party. The Americans started the revolution everywhere. Paul Revere warned the people that the British was coming. Paul wrote the Constitution. 